Right, well, here it is. Uh, the all-new Kindle Scribe. All-new to New Zealand, anyway. And um, uh, so it's a sort of a, a give-and-take situation, if you like, uh, with this device. Uh, because you get pretty much all the premium free features of a premium Kindle, uh, but not quite all. But then you get a couple of extra ones that you obviously don't get uh, with any other Kindle. So, um, yeah, so one of the big features, of course, is it's now a 10.2 inch screen. So it's a massive uh, screen, similar to, you know, other big tablets, really. Uh, so it's not just a little, a little book anymore. Um, and also, uh, obviously, you get a pen. And this is the premium pen. Uh, it, def it comes with the basic pen as, de as a default, and then for a few extra bucks, you can upgrade to the premium pen. So why wouldn't you upgrade to the premium pen? Because you get a few extra features for that. Uh, so that's good. Uh, what you're missing out on is uh, it doesn't do the wireless charging uh, that we've seen in a recent uh, Kindle model and you know what a fan of wireless charging I am. And also, it, uh, there's no uh, IP rating for water resistance, so I don't know if you want to be using this by the pool or at the beach. So yeah, like I say, it's a, it's a bit of a, a give and take, but of course, yeah, the main feature uh, to this device is not just that you can uh, read books uh, better and clearer than ever before on an amazing 300 PPI uh, screen, which is high definition than just about any other e-ink reader out there, I think, um, with great brightness. I'll demonstrate all this uh, in a minute. Um, but yes, we've got the uh, the pen and the writing experience on here is uh, pretty good. It really does feel like a like a pen on paper, certainly like a marker pen on paper. Um, so let's uh, demonstrate some of the things that you can do with this. Why would you want to write on your Kindle? Let's go and find out. Right, let's uh, take a deeper dive into uh, the Scribe and some of the many features that it now offers. Uh, so as you can see here, I'm uh, reading Adrian Tchaikovsky's very good uh, Children of Time sci-fi novel at the moment. And right away, you can see that powering it on, pretty much uh, instant. Uh, so that's what you want. Um, and, uh, you know, some standard Kindle features that I like. You know, it learns your reading speed, so you know how much longer you've got left in your chapter or the book. Uh, you can have a little clock up here if you like uh, to let you know uh, that you're not going past your bedtime uh, while you're reading. Um, and yeah, it just looks fantastic, this um, high resolution 300 PPI on such a large page. If I um, show you, you know, how white, how black and white you can go, I prefer it a little bit warmer. I've got the brightness right up for the sake of this uh, video, but also I actually prefer to uh, use it in dark mode as well. I find that's a bit easier on the eyes too. But for the sake of this video, uh, let's keep it black and white for you. Um, so even uh, with, just with the books, this is where the uh, uh, this premium pen uh, comes into play. You can you know highlight certain bits of the book. You can make a note and say, love this bit. You don't have to use the pen to do that. You can use your fingers as well. Save that. And then that is now uh, indexed. Uh, it's tied to your uh, copy of that book and you can come back to that note. Uh, you know, so if it was if something that you were studying, for example, uh, you can refer back to it. Uh, with that important passage. But that's only just the beginning uh, when it comes to uh, the things that you can uh, use uh, the pen for. So uh, let's bring up the Kindle Scri uh, Scribe Reviewer's Guide, uh, for example. And um, yes, we can use the pen to navigate around it, but we can also do things like highlight uh, with it. Um, we can customize the pen as it says here. Uh, so I've actually got a customizable uh, shortcut on the pen. So you can make that, you know, your eraser or um, it can be a pencil or in this case, uh, it can actually be a fountain pen. Look how fancy my name looks when I write it with a fountain pen, as opposed to when I write it in highlighter, didn't mean to do that. So let's rub that highlighter out just like that. And yeah, 
this is just the normal pen like that. And yeah, as I said before, this matte non-glare um, surface, it really feels a, it's a very natural writing experience. It's perhaps not quite like pencil on paper, but certainly it's like a pen, if not a marker pen uh, on, on paper. It's a very natural uh, feeling sensation. So all these things will stay on this document. Um, you can then uh, choose to just email that document straight from uh, the Kindle uh, to your default email address that's attached to your Kindle account or you can uh, email it to somebody else. You can email it back if you were you know, marking somebody's essay or something like that. If you're a teacher or a professor, um, you can send that back to, uh, to them. Uh, and it's easy to send uh, Word and um, PDF documents uh, to the device as well. Um, there's a uh, send a Kindle from web uh, function, which really is it's just a web page. You log in uh, you know, using your um, Kindle account details and you can literally just drag documents and they will then appear uh, on your Kindle. That's how I got this um, uh, reviewer's guide into it. But that's not all, folks. That is uh, not all. So let's just uh, go back to our library and look at some of our notebooks. You can create notebooks. Okay, so here's one I created earlier. It's a little to-do list for the day. So I've got to shoot the scribe video, edit the scribe video, write the review, publish the review, and take the rest of the day off. So we've done, well, okay, we haven't quite done that, so I'll better rub, rub that off. Oops, I made a mistake. Here, I'll do it that way instead. Right, and if I wanted to make an adjustment to that list, I can use the lasso tool and perhaps um, I can copy that and put it down there. So have the same thing on the list down the bottom again. Now that doesn't look uh, very nice, we've got these bits here, but once again, you know, that's easy enough to just uh, rub away. So, um, yeah, and then once I've uh, saved all, the, you know, all that list, I go back to my notebooks, and I can then send that notebook off to somebody else. I can make it somebody else's uh, to-do list. Um, so I can share it, and I can actually, uh, if I want to uh, convert it to text, I can do that, and it's not gonna do it. Why isn't it doing it? Yeah, convert to text and email. I think it already sent it to me, that's why it was just too efficient. Yes, I can see I've just got a notification, I've just received that to-do list, but I wanted to show you what it would look like here on the screen. So as you can see, it's, um, it's literally taken all my messy handwriting and converted it to text just like that. So there are a lot of very, very useful tools and the only price you're paying is that this is no longer waterproof and you can't charge it wirelessly. I think that is a fairly good trade-off, pen included.